So it's a good idea to close out of the part we're in. I'll click on the little X in the top right hand corner, say no to save. And I'll go and open up a new metric part file. And we're going to take a look under sketching and look at these IntelliSketch options. Now if I draw a line anywhere on the screen, and I'm still in the line command, and I'd like to draw a line at the end of the other line, and see how it shows a relationship indicator at the end of the cursor, so I know I'm at the end of that line. Now if I draw another line just anywhere here, now I'd like to find the intersection of that line to the midpoint of this line, and so how do I get the intersection? If I just come up, I've got to sweep across both lines, and now as soon as I find the intersection, it shows that relationship indicator. That indicates the intersection point. So I know I can go from the intersection point down here, and then it shows another relationship indicator that I'm at the midpoint. So let's just go ahead and undo that geometry. Now I'd like to place a line parallel to this line. And so I sweep across it and say, now tell me when I draw this line, starting to draw a line, I want it to be parallel to that. Now I can guess, and it's, oh, it looks about there, but I'm waiting for the indicator. And see, I'm not seeing any indicator here. And the reason why, by default, the parallel is turned off. Now if I turn that on, and again I sweep across that, and when I come down and get it close to parallel, see how the indicator turns on? The relationship indicator says, yes, you are parallel right there. Now the same with tangency. You see the tangency indicator is on, and if I go and draw a circle, and I say I want the circle to touch on this, I go out, and I touch on it, and you'll see the relationship indicator for tangency. And the other one there is that it's saying you're on the line and you're tangent. Now let's go and draw a couple of circles. And I'd like to make these equal. So I'd like this to be equal to this. And let's look at this square on in the front view. And if I go to the line command and say I'd like a line right from the top, and it says yes, you're on the element, so there's the relationship indicator. I'm like, what happened then? It jumped to the side. I said, no, 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 I want the line to go from here to here. Let's go back, hit escape or select, and I draw the line command. And you'll see what happens when I click right there. Again, I'm trying to draw a line, it jumped to the wrong place. So what I can do to fix that is, on a circle, you're better off just picking out on the edge here. I pick on the edge and now it says, oh, I'm tangent. And then if I come across, and when I hit the other circle right at the top midpoint, and I can line it up right there, so there's the indicator, and there's the tangency. So I can right mouse click to accept that. So if I'm just going to back up and undo, and, I, and take the equal constraint off these two circles. And if I make one circle by grabbing the handle right there, if I make one smaller, and then if I go to the line command, and again I'd make I'd like to make a line that's tangent from here to here. How do I do that? Well I can come up to either circle, touch on the circle and see how it rolls around. And when I get to the other circle, now I don't want this mid the top point, I want this to be tangent. So I've got to touch on the circle and it tells me now I'm tangent on the point. And I could do another line from this side, tangent, it's not ta there it is, now that's tangent also. Now if I go back and make changes to the circle, you'll see how this stays, the relationship stays. I can move that in and around, because I, know I have no other constraints on this.